Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Buffalo Chicken Dip. That's right, all the flavor, none of the bones, all of the taste, none of the groans. And yet still an incredibly delicious snack for your game day buffet. So let me show you how to put this classic baked dip together. And we're going to start with chicken. Now most of these buffalo chicken dip recipes call for canned chicken, which is really not what I want you to use. At the very least, go out and get yourself a rotisserie chicken. Just about every big supermarket in the world sells these. And one small rotisserie chicken will give you just exactly the amount of chicken you need for this recipe. And yes, you could roast your own chicken, of course. But you know what? You're really busy getting ready for a big party. It's okay. You can buy a rotisserie chicken. But anyway, we need some cooked chicken. I'm going to remove the skin and the bones. What about cartilage? Yes. Tendons, of course. Remove those too. All right, so once I have just the meat, I'm going to take a cleaver and I'm going to cut it into kind of a small dice. Now you can go really fine here, almost like a paste, but I do like some decent sized pieces of chicken. So I'm going to cut mine just like that. I'm going to throw that in a bowl with a couple packages of full fat cream cheese, the real stuff. All right, please don't use the diet cream cheese for this. We only eat this once a year. Do you think we could just get it with the real ingredients, please? Thank you. All right, next we need our hot sauce. And of course, we're using the authentic Frank's Red Hot hot sauce. That's the original buffalo style chicken wing hot sauce. So we're going to pour that in. Blue cheese dressing and crumbled blue cheese. All right, after our blue cheese... I'm going to throw in the closest thing I have to a secret ingredient, some Old Bay, all right? And also some cayenne because Frank's hot sauce is really not that hot. And I definitely want this to have a lot of heat, so I sell more beer. I mean, so my guests drink more beer. And I'm also going to throw in a little bit of pepper jack cheese. And we'll also save a little bit of that for the top. All right, get in there with your spatula or your wooden spoon and mix it until thoroughly combined. By the way, buffalo chicken wings go with blue cheese dressing, not ranch. I don't know who decided to start serving ranch dressing with chicken wings. Probably some idiot, but it really doesn't go as well as blue cheese. You want that salty, sharp tang. Okay, once all that is mixed perfectly together, I'm going to transfer that into some kind of baking dish. You don't need to oil it. You don't need to grease it. I'm using just a deep-sided pie dish, but this will work in any kind of standard casserole dish. All right, so anything that's heat-proof. I'm going to go ahead and smooth out the top. And then before we pop it in the oven, we're going to go ahead and put on just a little more cheese. All right. So that's going to go in a preheated 400 degree oven for about 15, 20 minutes until heated through. Now, one little trick I like to do towards the end here, I'll go ahead and flip on the top broiler for like two minutes just to brown the top a little bit. All right. That's optional, but I like to do it. And there you go. Our hot, ready to serve baked buffalo chicken dip. I'm going to garnish with a little bit of cayenne just to sort of give people the visual warning that, yes, you are about to eat something that's hot. Be careful. All right, you probably want to let that cool a couple minutes before you put it out, but this is fine hot. This is fine warm. This is good room temperature. This is even good cold. And, of course, I'm going to serve this up with some crackers and celery sticks. The celery, in case we have any vegans or vegetarians, I don't believe they're allowed to eat crackers. Okay, but I'm not sure. But just in case, we're going to have some celery sticks. And that is ready to taste. All right, it's going to be very runny and loose when it's hot. It definitely tightens up significantly as it cools. All right, let me get into some of this. It's so good. It tastes like creamy, boneless buffalo chicken wings. What's not awesome about that? All right, Super Bowl parties are coming up. You're supposed to show up with a dish to pass. And what do you usually show up with? A bag of potato chips. And what do your friends say behind your back? Dude, so lame. All right, so this year it's going to be different. You're going to show up with this. Super simple, inexpensive to make. Everybody loves it. Come on, this is a winner. Like those great philosophers, 69 boys once said, if you ain't dipping, you must be tripping. And that is so true. So anyway, I really hope you give that a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts, as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.